Yeah. All right, so you guys have the same month that yes. you were born in. He'd be 83 years old today. And I think that uh, you're exactly what he'd be proud of, using your your idealism and your energy to do something that's for the greater good, you know? And, and that really is where, where God's asking us to be, you know, to help our neighbors. Absolutely. Uh, you know, in the old, Old Testament, there's Micah. He was a prophet. Yes. You're our modern-day prophet oh, here, thank Pastor. You. Yeah. I it. But Micah said, uh, "Act justly, show mercy, and walk humbly with our God." Right. And you're doing that. And uh, I know it gets pretty cold up here from time to time, I'm yes, sure. Sir. But as long as you're here, we're with you. Thank and you. I wanted to uh, come here today and just say that on behalf of all the people of Illinois, you're you. a special guy. You really are. And here's my my contribution and. Uh, Thank you more so power much. to you. Appreciate what it. an Thank inspiring you. day, yeah. and what a great pastor we have here, Pastor Brooks. How about it? God bless. Where are we? We're at 66 in King Drive, and where would Martin Luther King Jr. be? Right here today. Martin Luther King lived in our city of Chicago, state of Illinois, in 1966. He lived in the neighborhood. He understand how important it is to help people who live in the neighborhoods of our city and our country and our state. And that's why I'm here today. I gave a donation to Pastor Brooks. We've hit a quarter of a million dollars. That's quarter of a million dollars on our way. And what's the website where anybody, anywhere can help this cause to build this youth center? It's projecthood.org. <laughs> Say it again, projecthood.org. Projecthood.org. <laughs> There's no stopping us when people of good faith band together, not for profit, for a cause they believe in. There's no more powerful force on earth. We're all volunteers, but we're led by a great volunteer. In the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah talked about righteous oaks, righteous oaks. Pastor Brooks is a righteous oak. He understands what it's all about. And they say, Isaiah said, here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I heard you calling. I will go if you lead me, and I will hold your people in my arms. We've been held in the arms of Pastor Brooks. Come on forward, Pastor. Say a few words. First of all, uh, I wanted to come down uh, out of respect to our governor. I thought that if he could be uh, such a great leader and come up to the roof, then the least I could do is come down and stand with him as he spoke to all of us. So from New Beginnings and Woodlawn and Inglewood, come on everybody, let's thank uh, Governor Quinn for coming to see us on today. I have a statement um, that I want to read. It says, thank you to Governor Quinn for taking time out of his schedule to join us on this observation of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Today we honor Dr. King for his stand against economic and social injustices by continuing to make his dream a reality. This is why I've been on the roof for 55 days, bringing attention and awareness to the social violence and the economic plights of our community. Our communities are being stalked by a serial killer called No. No competitive sports programs, no social outlets, no conflict resolution, no jobs, and all of this breeds hopelessness, which in turn causes, causes us to see what we're seeing today, and that's violence and murder on every hand. Dr. King said, a man who will not stand for something will fall for anything. Today we take our stand and declare to the city of Chicago and all of Illinois and the world that on the south side of Chicago, today we take our stand. We believe that we are in a state of emergency and something needs to happen immediately. So we're asking for four things. Number one, first, we need immediate emergency city and state funds to be redirected toward violence relief 
in the Woodlawn, Inglewood, Roseland, Roseland, Austin, and Lawndale communities. Just like state funds were directed towards Quincy, Illinois, when the levees were about to break, in Utica, Illinois, when the tornadoes had ravished the city, we must have immediate support for violence relief in these neighborhoods where murder is running rampant. Secondly, we need immediate appointees from the mayor's office and the governor's office to work with New Beginnings Community Development and the Project Hood Initiative to develop economic and social revitalization plan for the Inglewood, Woodlawn, Roseland, Austin, and Lawndale communities, starting with Woodlawn and New Beginnings Development and Project Hood as a model. Thirdly, we're asking that as soon as we purchase this building, we are asking the city to take responsibility to tear it down within seven days, demo this building immediately within seven days after we purchase it at their expense. Finally, Finally, we want this plan to be completed within 30 days and to be delivered and discussed during a town hall meeting at New Beginnings Church the week of February 13th. It is imperative that our mayor and our governor are in attendance to provide the much needed leadership that our community so badly needs. We're not asking the city and the state to do this thing for us, but to do the things with us through a collaborative effort and through partnership. All of us together can stop the violence and we can make communities work and thrive and be the community that they're supposed to be. Thank you once again to our governor and we hope our mayor will receive our invitation to New Beginnings Church.